He's worthy to be praised. We thank God for His word. Where He's brought us from and where He's taken us to. Church, He's the same God. He's in the Old Testament. Walked over into the New Testament. And He's with us today. He hasn't changed. The Lord laid this on my heart back earlier in the week for this service. And we, uh, we're glad for everybody that's here. We thank God for you. We appreciate you. If you're here, you ain't here by chance. You're here for the Word of God. You're here because you, you need to hear this Word of God tonight. And uh, don't take it the wrong way. We're not here to beat, we're here to help. Because time's running out. Amen. Time is running out. Amen. And just because things look good, That's right. seem good, Come on. sometimes it's not good when you get to our words out. That's right. Amen. Amen. I read about Lot. I'm going to preach about Lot tonight. It'll be about Jesus. But I read about Lot when he chose the wrong place. We may not be reading exactly from there, but he looked out and seen the plains and everything looked real good. It was water good. It was pretty. Green grass and everything out there. Plenty for his cattle, his herd. And he chose that. See, Abraham gave him, you choose whichever way and I'll go the other. It didn't matter to Abraham. He knew what was on his side. So, you got to know who's on your side. Because time's just about over. Amen. And the place that you choose, it could cost you or your family. Right. You better remember that it could cost you. So as we are going to look into the Word tonight, we want you to turn to Genesis chapter 19. Start reading from verse 1. We'll read down through several verses. Quite a few actually. But just bear with me. Because I want to give you as what the Lord's given me. Yeah. Genesis 19 and verse 1. There came two angels to Sodom at Eden. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot seeing them rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread and they did eat. But before they laid down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, could pass the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do you to them as it is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. 
The enemy will tell you sometimes to stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came to sojourn. He will needs be a judge. Now we will deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even law, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and poured law in to the house to build and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Haste thou here, in, hast thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxed great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord has sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his son-in-laws, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his son-in-laws. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, Listen, that, listen pay it close to which are here. He wasn't talking about the daughters that was married to the son-in-laws. He was talking about those two virgin daughters. Take thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold now thy servant has found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountains, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now this city is near to flee unto, unto and it is a little one, oh let me escape thither. Is it not a little one, and my soul shall live? And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zor. The sun was rising upon the earth when Lot entered into Zor. Then the Lord reigned rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew the cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. Give the Lord a hand you may be seated. And I thought on this more today, as God began to deal with me on it even more back earlier in the week, probably Monday or Tuesday, God began to deal with me on this. So I wrote down what he had dealt with me on, and I began to do some studying and talking to him. But we're living in a time to where people's comfortable where they're at. They're comfortable where they're at. Lot got in a place that he was comfortable with. No matter how bad the sin was around him, he got in a comfortable place. In so many words, Brother Jeff, I believe that even he got in so comfortable place, he wasn't worried about his son-in-laws and his daughter-in-laws too much. He couldn't have been according to the scripture. 
So when these two angels told him, to go, do you have any here besides the one that's in the house with you? Go and tell them that this place is fixing to be destroyed because the sin was so bad. What kind of sin was down there? There was homosexuality that was down there in that place. There was men that lay with men and women with women. That's what was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. And it wasn't just in Sodom, but it was in the plains. It was in all the cities around Sodom and Gomorrah. And as I begin to study this, I come, come down to this. What caught my mind was in verse 23. The sun was rising upon the earth when Lot entered into Zohar. Look over at somebody and say, the sun is rising. Not the S-U-N, but the S-O-N. The sun is rising. He's looked over and he's seen and he knows all these things that's taking place in our lives. And he knows what we go through. I feel the Holy Ghost already. He knows what we go through in this life if we're going to stand for his word or if we're going to back up on his word. Glory to God and the sun is rising up. What's he rising up for? He's rising up to take tension. He's rising up to pour out. Glory to God. You know what happened? Lot had to get out of the city. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost for the Lord. Lot had to get out of the city. Why? God couldn't destroy the place. Glory to God until Lot was gone. Lot had to get out of that city. Oh, All those homosexuals, all those evil spirits. That morning when they woke up, they saw the sun rise. But all the weakness of that city, they never got to see another sunrise. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. They never got to see another sunrise. If you ever want to see the sunrise, Lord of God, I'm talking about you'll be destroyed in this life. I'm talking about the asshole in Jesus Christ. Lord of God, I'm talking about if we don't come out from among the world and be separate and do what the Word of God says, we're going to be destroyed because the sun is fixing to rise upon this nation. He's going to pour out a wrath. Somebody, I feel the Holy Ghost. There's somebody 
Sister Don, that's pleading. There was somebody that was pleading for Lot. Yeah. There's somebody pleading for you tonight. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the truth, glory to God. There's somebody pleading for your soul. Tell you to get out, glory to God. Get out of the world and get in Jesus. Oh. Get out of the world and get in Jesus. Yeah. It's time for the world people to get out of the world. Come out of it and be a separate people. The sun is rising. Amen. Hey, come on. That the sun is rising. Do you know it's the same one? What we preach is a tender and merciful and kind. But he is. He's so, he's so tender, full of mercy, brother JR. Got kindness, he's got patience. He, the Bible says he waits for He's got patience, he waits for the precious fruit. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Come on. Yeah. But what would happen if the sun was to rise up? The S-O-N. Don't let you get in the spirit. Come on. Come on, go ahead. He walked past you. It's just coming to me and ain't nothing on that man. Why come to you the ground? Somebody jumps in. Yeah. Somebody jumps in and starts praying. Bless him. Thank you. Lord, let me dig him out. Yeah. Give me a little while, Jesus. Give me a little while to talk to him, Lord. Give me a little while to convince him, Jesus. Lord, didn't happen, Lord. Lord, didn't happen. I'm 
live right and do right. And I said, Lord, not just with my eyes. But I said, I don't want to feel with the spirit. But Josh, I want to know about the spirit. Yeah, we all, we all stub and we fall. We mess up with the doubts. But it shouldn't be every time that you turn around. I snap and bite your head off. That ain't the right spirit. It shouldn't be every time, Lord God. I give you a hateful look. Lord God, I put you down the road. But I want to know you by your spirit, Lord God. I want to know you by your spirit. Yeah. And when we pray, a lot of times, buddy flesh. I love your gritchy teeth. Brother Bo, sometimes we just want to get up and tell somebody that there's a Holy Ghost in our back week. I'm talking about quicker than the snap of my finger. Quicker than my brain to tell my finger to snap. Then tell me, hey, that ain't right. How much do we take, Brother Jeff, and we'll just take an override? Yeah, but Lord, I got to get it. Come on. Come on. Church, I ain't preaching something to you that I ain't been through. Come on. Come on. Come on. Flesh wants to get a bad. Brother Ronnie, but that ain't the love of Jesus. Amen. The sun's rising, Brother Josh. And I want everything right. Yes. I want everything right in me. Yes. Because, Lord God, if it's not right in me, Brother J.R., do you know what it said? Everything that's unrighteous is sin. Amen. And you know what the Bible says? No sin will enter in there. Lord God, if there's hate, if there's just a least little bit of hate, oh God, not that you couldn't see to see my fingers thick as paper. If there's that much in there, I'm not going to heaven. The sun's rising. Church, I want to make it. I want to make it. I don't want to get down to like a lot Say, be merciful to me. But God showed mercy. But I know there's going to be a day of judgment day that the mercy ain't going to be there for you no more. I know the Bible says His mercy endures to forever. That's for His saints. That's for His saints. You better hear me. Lord God, it ain't for the sinners of the ungodly. Lord God, it's not for the sinners of the ungodly. It's for the ones that love Him. Say I can't. Right. I got scripture against that. I can do all things. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Through Christ. Right. Come on. Through Christ. Come on. I can't do it, Josh. Flesh is empty against God. Yeah. So don't sit and tell me. from time to time with Jeff we can pick up a phone and say I missed it but there's a Holy Ghost up inside of me you know what it says you can't lie I can't lie boy Let's be known when the chapter the sun's rising. Uh-huh. He's sitting on his throne right now. But he's fixing to stand up. Come on. Come on. When he stands up, but the Josh at times shall be no more. Worst people gonna be found at. Worst people gonna be found at.
tell you something. When you're coming out, you know what Luke 17 and 32 says? It says, remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. Why would Jesus, God Almighty, I know it's written in red, but why would he say that in that one verse? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Amen. So many of us want to turn and look back. Don't tell me the devil don't talk to you. And try to get you to turn and look back. I'll tell you you're a liar. Or either he's done got you one or two. He's either got you or you're lying. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because you know what it is every day for me when I'll get up. When you're sleeping. Jeff, we don't hear nothing. Heck, something pretty loud sometimes wake us up. I know some probably light sleepers. But I'm talking about when the bomb is really resting, you ain't hearing nothing. You're just like you did. Or somebody pick your room. You're just like you did now. It's a lot of the church. The word of God's coming. Even though I'm talking about Brother Sam, just use Brother Sam for example. Brother Sam could be here looking right at the preacher. But in the spirit, it's not your arm in. In the spirit, you see this? Let it go. They're so asleep. They're numb to the word of God. When it comes in it, the, the, the anointing comes to destroy every young. And you know what? Lord showed me a long time ago. He destroys the yokes in the building because of his anointing. It's because of his anointing the yokes are destroyed. Amen. And you know what happens? Because they won't. you got to get up off your seat when it gets destroyed. You can sit there all you want to. God done his part. Come on. You believe that? God done his part. Amen. He broke it off of you. But you know what? Well, this, we won't come to honor, but we'll go out this door. This right here was said here tonight already once in so many words. They walk through here. They forget about it. Come on. I've seen them run with tears down their cheeks. And won't come to the altar. But go out the door and get bound up again. Amen. Then when you start piling things, they go out the door and yeah. get All they have to do is come to Jesus and say, Lord, forgive me. I felt your presence, Lord, you broke off of me. I've come to you. That's how they whip the devil. There's coming a day when the sun rises. Don't get, don't be like Lot's wife. You know what she we don't have to her. And he overthrew the city. Let me get down to verse 26. Thank you, Lord. But his wife, after the cities was overthrown, his wife looked back from behind him. And she became a pillar of salt. Jesus said, remember Lot's wife. The pillar of salt can't get on nothing. It'll stay right there. Because just like when it shoots her around, it'll be like a statue. It was over. Because see, when God sends a word to us, what did the angels do? Don't look behind you. Get out and escape for your life. Amen. Don't look behind you. <clears throat> Man, I was speaking that the other day, Brother Josh. Lot, his daughters, they don't know what happened. He don't know what happened to his wife. His daughters don't know what happened to his wife. How'd that get in the word? I think Moses wasn't close enough to God to write. God gave him what to write. Amen. Just before Moses' time. Come on. Oh, glory to God. Come on. Because if they would have looked to see what happened to mommy, if he'd have looked to see what happened to honey, they'd have been a pillar of salt too. Amen. Amen. They'd have been destroyed right there. But they made haste and they got out of that place. 
Even Lot tried to linger. How much did we try to linger? Come on. Linger around in a place we shouldn't be for the jail, trying to help somebody. Come on, that's right. Trying to win them out of there. Linger too long. Preach. I don't want to go. Come on. I got family here. Yeah, but you got to pray for them, brother God. You got to get out of this place. You got to get my shot and I'm on ya. You can't win everybody. Come on. Amen. You ain't God. Come on. Come on. But if you'll fall down before the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings yeah. and say, God, I'm coming out of this place. I thought the Lord have mercy upon him. I love my family. Have mercy upon him, Jesus. Lord, let them fall to the bottom. God, that they open their eyes and they see that you are the creator. And you, Lord, I know you can speak to the hearts you spoke to mine. have somebody wallowing with me in it. So let's not linger. The sun's rising. You don't believe it, read the word of God. Jesus said it as it was in the days of Lot. So shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Tell me you ain't coming. Tell me the sun ain't rising. It's rising. It's just about morning. It's just about home time. Lord told me, Sister Don, I think you was there. Lord told me not too long ago, I gotta let go of some kites and go on. Things that's weights is holding me down. I gotta let them go. I'm gonna pray hard for it. But Sister Shannon, I'm gonna go on. Because if I let things hold me back, you know what's gonna happen for the chest? It can pull me back in a place to where I couldn't even get a hold of God. It'll cause me to start sinning. But I'm not gonna start sinning. I'm not gonna trade Jesus off. I'm gonna keep on going because I know that the sun is rising. I know it's coming up for the Joshua. And it's shortly, it's shortly. We better get a hold of the word of God. In Micah 5 and 15, and I, this is what the Lord, and I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen. Come on. Come on. Such as they have not heard. Come on. That's in our tree. Now, if you want to go read it, it's in Micah 5 and 15. Such as you, have, they have not even heard. Come on. Boy, they've heard about some horrible things. The earth opened up and swallowed them alive. Come on. All right. Fire came down from heaven and burned them up. Yeah. Hell fell down with Josh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Bring fire and bring salt. <coughs> I put salt in the Gomorrah. Could you imagine a big piece of brimstone, biggest rocks coming down, coming down through the roof of the house? Come on. But it was too late. By the time, Lord God, they've been together to come out of their houses. I say it was like molten lava running in the streets. Yeah. It was too late for the movie. As they come out, Lord God, everything was on fire. Lot said, God's going to destroy this place, boys. I can see some laws up. Oh, could you get the spirit up? I can see some laws up. I believe you, Lord. I believe you, Pablo. Oh, yeah. He was gone. That was something I was You're going to be gone. You're going to be gone. It'll be too late. Let that be gone. Come on. Amen. Listen. Come on. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on. Don't you fool around. Amen. Could you imagine? So hot. Falling down in this, their bodies just melting. Screaming. Screaming! Why am I in hell? Come on. I won't lay up with another man, I promise. Amen. I won't see him no more, I promise. But it was too late. The sun had rose. A 
heathen is a person who does not belong to a widely held religion. Especially one who is not a Christian or Jew as regarded by those who do. That's a heathen. You ain't born again. Amen. Come on. He set up on the heath. You know what I believe is word, Brother Josh. Come on. I, that's hanging around. You know what people do? They'll be saying, Boy, I like hanging around. It's how crazy people is nowadays, but I like hanging around. Just see what it was. Because the Bible says they ain't even heard of it. And I want to hang around and see what that's like. No, you don't want to hang around and see what that's like. No, I promise you, you don't want to hang around and see what that's like. Amen. Amen. You've heard about that rich man. He come back here. Holy Ghost lying too. I know he came, but it's Holy Ghost lying too. He'd smack you around and say, get you, get you a rock to the altar. Amen. Come on, Come on right? You ain't got time. You don't want to come to this place. Amen. Still that fool around. They'll linger and fool and linger and fool and bring her fool. Won't come to Jesus. Won't give him their whole heart. Come from where I'm at. There's coming a fire you won't be comfortable. All the things that we should come out of, and we know. Because I was talking to Lord, he said, I'm telling you, he said it's been preached so much. It's why he called He said it's been preached so much. They know what they got to come out of. Amen. They know what they got to come out of. Amen. He said, now you're going to tell them the sun's rising. Well, I'm cut. He said, behold, I come. Well, I feel the Holy Ghost. Come he said, behold, I come quickly. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is your name, one and two. God is jealous. Oh, she's just getting the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Then he tries to take it every time he takes it. Amen. All right. Come on. Listen, God is jealous. Yes. Uh-huh. And the Lord revenges. Uh-huh. The Lord, it says it twice, the Lord revenges. Uh-huh. And is furious. Come on. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. Uh-huh. And he reserves wrath. He reserves it. He's got weight. Right there. Come on. And he reserves wrath for his enemies. Come on. He's got it right there waiting. So don't think that you're going to get by. This world's going to get by, they say, sister. But just anything you ain't going to do ain't going to get by. Not with Jesus. You don't have to prove nothing by me, but you've got to prove everything for God. we got to prove it all before God. But God, this world, I'm telling you, God, we got to live right and do right and do what the Bible says because the sun is a rising up. Amen. Come on. Can you just see if people could just see in the spirit? If they was, if they was feared him enough, I fear him this much, Brother Jeff. If I wouldn't be right, if I'd just see him flinch. Come on. Amen. Run to an hour. That's right. Come on. You know what's wrong with them? They ain't got no fear in them. They ain't a lick of fear of God in people in the morning. Come on. Very few. Amen. Very few. Come on. Amen. Second Thessalonians. 1, 7, and 8. And to, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus, look here, he's talking to the saints here. Come on. We don't need to get upset and start taking things into our own hands. Yeah. Let God do it. Amen. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. 
in listen to how it's going to be revealed in flaming fire, taking vengeance, vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There's who he's taking vengeance on. That's right. That know not God. They ain't going to obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. He's speaking. Where's his, his gospels come out of the pulpit? Sometimes you just start breaking down for the ones that don't understand. His gospels come out here. Right out of the pulpit. And yep. we'll take it so lightly. And when you take it lightly that night, you know what you just done? Here's your cup. Yeah. You poured it in it. Come on. Right. You poured it in it that night and walked up the door with it. I don't have to have that stuff. I don't do that to get to heaven. Walking around with that. They may not believe this, but I'm telling you, it's coming. Right. When you pour it in there, he reserves it. Right. He reserves it for Josh. Amen. So, when somebody upsets us, I know Brother Chow, you say it's a lot. Sometimes I'll go ahead and tell him because I love him. Sometimes you know, like a flashman wants to be a smart man. But Jared said, You can't do nothing. Make him bad enough to hate you. And in, in my, I ain't been speaking out to nobody. Who was that good tell? I love him. I said, Boy, I could bring him jaws real good. <laughs> You know how flashy is? I said, man, I can bring your jaws real good. Sock you good. And I said, you hate me. But then I got to a place. I said, Lord, I understand. Because shortly after that, I got spit on. You know what it was? It was the Holy Ghost. I said, Lord, I understand. But man, at one time when Josh, somebody spit in my face, they was poor. But that lets you know if you got the real genuine or not. And it just worked one time. It was two or three in a row. Right in mouth. You don't. Right back in. So don't tell me. The devil will try you. And I love you, brother. I love you, brother. Amen. All right, we're about through. I'm just telling you, the sun's rising. You've got to remember that. Everybody in here, you've got to remember the sun's rising. Now, that goes for me just like I told my brother Timmy's last night. Don't be a traitor. I preach that here. Don't be a traitor. The sun's rising. You trade him off. You may never get him back. You get rid of him. You may never get him back. But if they take chances, never does. Oh man, Pastor ain't here. Preacher Jeff ain't down here. Papa ain't here. But you know who's there? His eyes will live for him. He sees everything. It's all recorded. Amen. I told him, I said, Lord, his eyes go right up the hall, fall on that traverse, pull the driveway, get out, walk right in the house with me. Huh? Get up next morning, goes to work with me. His eyes was right there, Brother Bud. Go on the mountain hunting, he's right there with me. His eyes fall me right up the mountain. Are you, are you getting this tonight? He's there. It don't matter. You can't hide nothing from Jesus. So don't you be standing there just knees are shaking. Amen. He'll bring it back to you and say, hey, oh, yes, you did. 
did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Sarah said, I didn't laugh. Oh, yeah, you laughed. Child, it's fornication also. Yeah. Every kind of sin you could imagine probably was there. Yeah. And going after strange flesh. Yeah. So I know kids in here, but I'm talking about it was animals and everything. They were sick. Yeah. You talk about it says strange flesh. Yeah. And you believe this or not, it's already happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to come, Lord God, the world. It's going to, you're going to see it in your eye. It doesn't going to matter to them. That's how that Lot, when he said that, he seen this garbage. They seen this garbage. Yep. Yep. People don't want to bring it out, but I'm going to bring it out because I want the church down here at Woodfield to know the truth. Lord God, and let the kids know that that is not right. You can see that spirit trying to get a hold of one of your kids. Smack it off of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Get out of here, you unclean spirit from hell. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Rebuke the devil. Yeah. Come on. Going out the strange flesh. Or set forth for an example. It was for an example. Suffering. The revenge of eternal fire. There's an eternal fire coming. Whether we want to believe it or not, when the sun rises, if you ain't ready, and you're in any of that field, you know God deals with people on different things. Some of us you probably can't even read that word. Probably if you'd break it down, you'd find it. See, they won't have it that way. You know what they you know how they gotta read it? The Yeah, come on. And yep. Jesus said. That's right. But they never studied to show thyself approved to be God. Yes. They never break it down, Sister Donna, to, to show herself approved to God. Yeah. He said a workman needed not to be ashamed. Rightly divine the word of truth. You gotta rightly divide the word. You know what? I'm sorry. I don't know about you. I know the sun's rising, but I'm excited to see what God's gonna do here. Amen. I know the devil fights me so hard for the Lord's. I know he fights y'all, but he fights me so hard and wants me to just throw it in with Josh. That's the kind of battles I get in sometimes. So if you ever feel like you want to pray for me, I'll go ahead and tell you, I need prayer. I need it. As your pastor, I need prayer. Because I fight battles. They ain't easy. And I'm not sitting up here complaining. The Lord knows I'm not. I fight battles with the devils. But I want to see God's people. Because I'm sincere. I said, Lord, they're not mine, they're yours. I tell them that when I pray, I said, they're not mine, Lord, they're yours. You just give them in my hands just for a little bit. 
And Lord, if I mess up, I'm going to be in trouble. That's how I pray, Lord, I'm going to be in trouble if I mess up. I'm telling you, the sun is rising. And he's rising and he's going to bring vengeance upon the children of disobedience. But you know how I'm, you know how we get free preachers? God gives us a word. And we deliver that word. You'll be free when you stand before Jesus. Because he said you delivered the message. See, then it's up on them. And when they come, the Lord gives me a message. When they come, I don't want to be like John. Get upset. Buddy, I want to rejoice when they come. Down to an altar and they turn and they repent. I'm going to read here in Revelation. A few verses here. The altar's open if you want to come down. In Revelation 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Listen what reward her even as she rewarded you, and double to her double according to her works, in the cup which she hath filled. Feel to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I set, I set a queen and am in no widow and shall see no sorrow. Ain't that what people say? Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. So if you think you're going to get stronger than what the Lord God is, you're in trouble. You better get out of that situation tonight and say, Lord, I'm weak. I'm, I'm wanting to come to you and follow you with all my being. Follow you with all my being. That cup that you keep pouring into, what's going to happen one day? It's going to pour out on you. He's asking. You think over the years how many times it's probably been brought out come out of her my people. Right. Yep. You've got to be separate. That's what he said. You've got to be. They know if, ands, or buts about it. You won't get around when judgment day comes. You won't get around Jesus. You get to go up and think you're going to open the pearly gate and walk on in. Because I'm going to tell you sin won't be there. It'll never get there. When it comes time, when all everybody's going to stand before them, whether they believe that or not, they're going to stand. All's going to appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Man, that ought to scare us enough, Brother Jeff. It'll be one on one, you and Jesus standing out. I won't be able to grab Dad. Say, Dad, help. Can't grab on me. It's me and Jesus. It's you and Jesus. You can't grab an aunt, uncle. Can't grab on my chair. Can't grab for the bow and see me. He told me.
Jesus is reaching for you. And he wants you to do right. There's people that's not doing right right now. And I'm not picking on you, but you're not doing right. And you know who you are. You know, that's, that's a sad thing to know who you are. And to know the service rights. To know. Think about it this way. What if in the morning you never got to see the sunrise again? And you didn't make things right with Jesus. Where are you going to spend eternity in? Can you honestly say, I'm either going to be with a place of no torment, a place of rest, or are you going to open your eyes and see that rich man? That rich man is still down there right now, Brother Ruby. It's real. It's real. He's right there right now. I believe one of his punishments is he's sitting there just looking at his lashes. That little man. I don't know if the Bible don't say it, but could you imagine probably just every little bit, I need a drop of water. I need some water. Oh, the water won't do no good. It is just one, one drop. Why ain't people waking up? Why ain't people waking up? I'm going to go ahead and say this. With all love. We only got one church. There's only one church. That's it. A lot of buildings, but there's one church. Brother Jeff said something earlier here tonight. It's been on my heart. We should be able to go to this building, no matter who's in it. We should be able to go with Brother Hunters, no matter who's in it. We should be able to go with Sister Rachel's, no matter who's in it. She will go to Brother Timmy's, no matter who's in it. If we can't, hear me out. If we can't, why do we get with them so much when they preach? Huh? Is there one church? There's one church. I ain't saying go down the road and get equally yoked up with a bunch of unbelievers. But if we know those that labor among us, somewhere or another, we should be able to just come through the doors and say, hey. It ain't only here. And I'm going to tell you this is a good place to worship. I'd love to have you. Keep you. But I'm, I'm, a, I'm a shepherd like this. If God tells you to go over there and visit, I ain't going to come and say, don't you go over there and put you out. That's the wrong spirit. That's the wrong pastor. When, when I take a put on her today, I mean, as I said, before, we, before the power, before the electric came back on, I can sister really. Before the electric came back on, I told them, in time, I want them to have time if they want to make plans and go somewhere else to church because I, I believe the sheep will go where the truth is. Yeah. You believe that? We should. The sheep should go where the truth is. I ain't got, this ain't the only church that's got the truth. And we have a good church here that's got the truth in it. But there's other churches, buildings, thank you, Jesus. There's other buildings that's got the truth in it. It's got God's church in it. This is just a building. People make up the church. It ain't but one church. And we've got to remember that one church. Amen. Many buildings, one church. Amen. And I believe there's even some in these other places that they don't.
don't see the name. They don't understand why we're running around talking tongues. Why do you think? I believe that when God says, come out over my people, I believe they're going to come out. And they're going to say, hey, here's one I know. I know it's just in Lincoln County. Don't take me wrong, but it's close to Boone too. But where I was out there preaching, I didn't hear, man, when I heard that Brother J.R. was going down in the name of Jesus, I was an excited man. So after church, I drove and waited. What was it, 12 o'clock before they got there? I said, I've got to see this sight. Because I've been fit tooth and nail on it. Because I told him, little Jeff, oh, Lord wore me out once because I got in the water hole where they said the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I wasn't even given the charge to stand in the water hole where they said. Just in case something happened. Buddy, Lord wore me out. And from that day forward, when they asked me, it's the name one way out there, Christ. That's right. I had a lot to come against me. I took a lot of them down too in the right way. Amen. So don't be there standing outside and don't talk to them. Tell them why. That's all right. We we feel good. We just want to go down the name of Jesus. That's what they'd say. Go down and go down the name of Jesus then. Explain to them who he is. But when I heard that, I went. Because he came out. That's what God's saying to people. Come out. Come out of your hatred. Come out of the enemy. Come out of your strife. Come out of your talk about it. Come on, this is what the Lord's dealing with me on all this stuff. We shouldn't even have to start naming this. But from time to time, it just comes out. You know what? I believe it. If we could get all this stuff just right, we want to see the miracles, but we got to get this just right first before we can see the miracles. The sun's rising as they see. Come on, let's sing. Get on the instrument. We'll, we'll sing. Maybe somebody wants to pray. Maybe somebody wants to come out soft. Come out soft. Are you gonna stay there? Like lots, son in laws, his daughters. Sun's rising. And he's rising up. And he's gonna pour out wrath. There's gonna be vengeance. And he's gonna pour it out on the children of disobedience. They don't love him. Well, they can say it. All they want through this mouth. But truly they don't love Jesus. Because he said, Brother Josh, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah. So that tells me that people, people can't love God if they're still in sin. God and sin don't mean it. As they sing, look at these kids.
never been this homesick before. Love him. I appreciate him. Thank God again for all that came out to be with us tonight. We appreciate everybody that went over to Sister Rachel's with us. We appreciate you. And those that went to Brother Timmy's other night, we appreciate you. Thank God for you. And if you couldn't make it to either service, I still appreciate you. Thank God for you. Thank God you can be here. We, we're, we're still one church. We're still all part of the body. There's sometimes... You may go and I can't go. But we shouldn't love each other any less. Any less. So we we do we love everybody, appreciate everybody. And we have So we have a birthday, it's gonna be uh, today or tomorrow. We get the same girl. Oh, she's 16, and we get to take up an offer. <laughs> Morgan's got her birthday. I guess it's called it the Sweet 16. So. Sorry, huh? <laughs> 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 